this video, I will explain the LAC operon. The LAC operon is an operon within a bacteria called E. coli. E. coli is an organism that inhabits the human intestine and aids in the breakdown of proteins, lipids, etc. The LAC operon is designed to metabolize lactose and is made up of four major components, the promoter, the repressor, the operator, and the genes, which I will explain individually. The promoter is the region on the DNA where the RNA polymerase can attach and move down and produce proteins on the genes further down, which we will discuss later. The next component is the operator, which functions as an on-off switch for the operon. The repressor component is what prevents the RNA polymerase from actually traveling down the DNA by blocking it from getting any further than the promoter that it initially attached to. The LAC operon is an example of negative gene regulation because it has a repressor molecule that binds to the operator to stop transcription, while in positive gene regulation, an activator inter interacts with the RNA polymerase near the promoter to start transcription. Finally, since E. coli is a bacteria, the genes involved in this particular operon are all grouped next to each other on the DNA. These three genes that are involved in the LAC operon are LAC-Z, LAC-Y, and LAC-A. Now that you know what all the components are, we will discuss the actual process. Since this operon processes lactose, lactose must be present for it to begin. For example, if you drink a glass of milk, lactose will become present in your digestive tract, eventually reaching the E. coli in your intestine. In this model, the lactose will be represented by these small green squares. Once it reaches the E. coli, eventually one of the lactose molecules will bond with the repressor and cause it to change shape so that it can no longer be attached to the operator. Once this occurs, the RNA polymerase will finally be able to move all the way down the DNA since it is no longer being blocked by the repressor and can produce the RNA needed to produce the proteins that will process and break down the lactose. Once the lactose has been processed, there will no longer be a lactose molecule altering the shape of the repressor, so it will return to the operator and prevent the la process until lactose is present once again. I hope this video was helpful and has helped you better understand operons, specifically how the LAC operon works, and all of its components and steps involved. Thank you! Mm -hmm.